Hey everybody, welcome to my channel. It's your girl Kia Moore. If this is your first time here, welcome. If you're coming back, welcome back. Last episode was Christmas, Winterfest, and it was crazy. If y'all didn't see it, please go back and watch it. It was a trip. <laughs> um, I'll have the link in the description for that if you want to go back and watch Winterfest. Because, ooh, a lot went down on that. So, we're going to sit here. Um, looks like she wants to watch a little TV. Cooking channel, always. Mm -mm, you're not watching sports. Because she has to learn how to cook better. If you've been watching, her cooking has been a struggle. From setting herself on fire to other things. Um, maybe we should open the presents that Santa put down in the last screen. Hold up. No! Okay. Yeah, it's locked again. You seen the little vampire creeper? And I was like, hold up, because I knew I had a party. I didn't know if I had locked the door back, but I had. She needs to clean out the spoil food in there so we can turn the TV off. Um, we're going to open this, see what else we get. And then we're going to put away all these decorations until next time. I'm going to speed through this and let her get another skill, maybe. Oh, she's still, nope, she's done watching. She's cleaning up. This puppy thing is, whew. Lord. I don't know how to fix that. Okay, so let's pause this. Go here. Winterfest is over until next time. So we're going to put everything in here. And get back out her mixing thing. What is this? Okay, that's the train she got. Delicious <laughs> for dummies. Uh, she got a coffee maker. What is this? Oh, I guess it's fan mail. She got the VIP bucket from a golden date. Her and Adrian. Um, a vacuum, a robot vacuum. Cool gifts. All this is belonging to this place. We got to put it back when we get ready to move the plants and stuff. <laughs> so, yeah, I got to be reminded to put that back. I want to see what that is. And let's put this back where we had it. see what this pile of mail do. Are we just going to view it? If that's the case, we're going to put it right back where we've got it from. She's like, oh. Yeah, that's whack. Um, let's put mail back. <laughs> we don't need extra garbage on the floor. Well, you can sell it for $8. Back to the play. Um, she's a little hungry. We need to fill this up. And maybe get some leftovers. No, she's going to get turkey. Okay, sorry. I guess she's proud of her turkey. Then we're going to work on our skills again. We need to get followers. So we need to do something for followers. Let's see. Let's go to social networking. And we're going to network with journalists. I think that gets us a lot of followers. And then we will blog for the followers. See what that gets us. So it's Thursday night. I think we should go to the karaoke spot and sing a little bit today. Because she hasn't did that in a minute. And burn that. I might try that. Setting fires. Fire. 
Woo, 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 woo. No, cutie, I'm not giving you no food. Stop begging. She done eating. She didn't wash her thing. She'll wash that when she finished doing what I told her to do. Then she is going to take a quick shower and use the restroom. Cutie still don't like this computer. She was like, I don't like that thing. I'm going in the room. Is she hiding up under the bed again? And she is. <laughs> Look at her. She's like, nope, not that thing. Uh, we are on our period. Yes. The horror of it all. She got 150 followers, so she's almost there. She's almost to that 500 she needs. Six more. I think we could update our status for 20. So if this blogging thing don't work, we'll update our status and get the last 20. For, uh, we get 20 for the 500. So then all she needs to do is improve her writing skills so she can finish her book that she started, the comedy book, and try to pull that up with that. We have to get this going. Um... We're going in the office today. Yeah, that's what we're going to do. We're going to go into the office. So let's get ready for work. Good job. Um, She wants to go ice skating and record a new video. She likes recording new videos. Uh. She's not feeling good with this period. It's jacking her up. She's trending. Ooh, trending. She still ain't got that. So let's just update her status. I think that woke Cutie up when she got back on the computer. Okay, she got 25. She's at 519. So she got it. Good job. Um, no, it's about five minutes till we go to work. So she's going to pamper Cutie for, nope, she's going to work. The mess do she have on? Oh, Lord, no. You look a hot mess. Celebrity whims. A big celebrity is coming into Kira's studio and she has been asked to fill the designing room with items that the celebrity requested. Kira starts to gather the items when she gets to a request of coffee that has 20 steps. Do she do it anyway or pass it off? Um... We honest, so we just gonna do it anyway. Okay, hold on. Yeah, I became good friends with Santa Claus. Okay. Where they are a celebrity, why shouldn't Kara get them exactly what they want? Hey, she may even get a celebrity to sign something. She had a medium game for that. I don't like her work attire. Um. I need to figure out how to change that because she can't be wearing that to work. That's like, like, they got her looking all kinds of retarded. And I don't like it. So, until I, I might work from home until I figure out how to do that. Oh. She is upset about this period stuff. Yes, I became good friends with Santa Claus. Why do y'all care? What time she get off from work? 
y'all keep stopping me about Santa Claus? Like, really? Oh, she done made a mess in the clothes and everything. Okay, hold on. This is what we not finna do. So we gonna take a shower. Use the restroom. We taking a shower mainly to get out this ugly ass outfit. And because she's dirty. She has filthy clothes. Because her pads leak. nasty her pads leaked being a girl so demanding i forgot to um to put the decoration box up we'll do that okay and then she's gonna get some leftovers I want to go set that pile on fire just for the heck of it, you know? So, I need to socialize, uh, network with journalists, and write. Um, so, that's what we're going to do um, in a few. But we're going to set that pile on fire first. <laughs> Just because we want to play with fire. Um, her clothes is not filthy. Like, uh, this, part, this past stuff is going to be a problem. I can see it now. Um, but it is what it is. So how many has she used? One of each. So she just used another pad. Oh, she did another tampon. That's weird. What song is on the radio this time? Get Your Blessings. That was a good one. I was like, it had like a church vibe to it. Yeah. Stop just putting your plate down. Dishes. You're about to be a, a mother one day. I mean, you have to clean up. You can't just leave your stuff all laying around. Okay, now let's go set this pile on fire. We'll burn this. Just because we can. And because it's nasty. Yes, we're going to go around this house instead. We'll play with fire later. <laughs> We're going to run this house. <laughs> Um, off screen, I had moved her out of her parents' house because she's a young adult and everything, so she needs her own spot. I probably need to do the same thing with her twin brother, but I really don't want to because he's annoying. <laughs> so he might stay with his parents forever, even though he around here populating the whole neighborhood and stuff. But yeah. Okay, see, this is Rhonda's place. Let's go tell her inside joke. <laughs> I just moved her in. She ain't decorated or nothing. I think I'll do that off screen, make it her own. Like, I think that'd be cool. So let's chat with Bessie. Bessie lives in the city, and it's Thursday. Maybe we can go like to the karaoke spot or something. Because it's like right here. Uh, maybe. Huh? Good. Uh, the father. 
She's still feeling dirty. Let's see. She only knows she's a geek. She don't know the other two of her traits. But she's the best friend. What you in there reading for? No, we're not going to read. We about to go to the karaoke spot. What's the point of Bestie living in the city if we can't go visit the karaoke park? Yep, we're Bestie. See y'all when we get there. Okay, welcome back. <laughs> okay, we're at the karaoke thing, so. Let's see. Let's go order us a drink because we're legal now and we can do that. She was going to order a drink anyway. But I'm actually going to order one. Let us order a drink. Let's see. What do we want? A minty fresh pet confession? I don't think I want that. Uh, let's get a sea splash. We're gonna get a sea splash. Let's see who else is coming through here? That's Marcus. He look very light skinned now. Marcus don't got he don't bleach himself. What has Marcus done to himself? Karaoke night, yes. Um, where is her drink? Why are you dag dagging everybody else? That is not what she ordered. Lord. You a bad bartender. I'm not tipping you. My tip to you is get another profession. Let's enter this contest. Um, hotter than sin. We finished saying hotter than sin. Let's go in her room. We don't want to hear him. There's too many songs going on here. Julian, shut up. Y'all hear Julian? Just want him to be quiet. I want to back out some so I can't hear. Somebody's having sex. Since I added wicked whims in here, everybody be having sex. But in front of everybody, we'll stay on this side of the wall. He's tired, but we're going to see who wins this contest, so we'll be here. Tired and all. She got an 81 out of 100. Eh, it's not bad. She about to fall asleep. Let's, let's take another nap right here. Don't y'all? My baby was trying to sing. Why they in there having sex? In front of everybody. Like, Tanya's still pregnant. She over here taking her a quick little nap. Like, I'm tired. 
I'm finna take a nap in here. Maybe nobody won't come in here and bother me. Let them stay over there watching them people. So I'm just gonna let her sleep here because she needs it. And here comes somebody. Oh, that's paparazzi though. She came here to take a picture of who? Who's outside the door? Who are you talking to? Oh, she's trying to take pictures of Tanya. You're in the wrong room for that. You need to try to talk to Tanya again. Because, you know, Tanya don't really like us at this moment. Who's singing now? My baby trying to sing. But he's distracted by the sex. And I'm just going to sleep in here. <laughs> this is a good setup. Like, I'm just relaxing, taking my little nap while they over there doing it. And all them people over there cheering and stuff because they being nasty in public. They could have took that back to their house. But it is what it is. I'm just trying to see who wins this contest. Take me a little nap because I'm sleepy. I might wake up and go order me a drink. That'll be a thing. So. Uh, sir, stay out. I won the contest, so I can go home now. As long as I won, you know, that's all I cared about. Her nap is almost over. They still in there having sex. Everybody leaving. I'm about to leave myself and go on home. I didn't even speak to my man. He came, tried to sing. Now he leaving. Let's, actually, he's not leaving, so let's go and give him a hug. Yeah, he leaving. I'll forget it. How oh, he's the bartender. Chat with Noah. Who the hell is Noah? Uh, that's Noah. Anyway, I don't even care who Noah is. I'm calling my Uber. And I'm going home. Who am I going to bring with me? Nobody. Just go home. And when I get there, I'm going to have her right for a little while before she goes to bed since she don't have a nap. So I'll see y'all when we get there. Okay, we are home. So, oh, she needs to do the journalist thing for work, her daily tasks. So let's do that. And then we're going to write, resume right in another thing. So this is what we're going to do for a little bit. And then she's going to go to bed and we're going to end this part. So, yeah. yeah, I know, go hide up under bed. And then you see her little face on one side of the bed. I guess she's on this one. Yep, there she is. We need to work on her being scared. Okay, cutie. Give me that money is on the radio. Give me that money is always on the radio. 
But it's 2 o'clock in the morning, so we're going to stop all this and sleep. Oh, and Rhonda entered the politician's career, but she went to the fundraising part, like, um, instead of being a politician. She's going to go into the office. So I need you to get up, take a shower, use um, I like that quick shower mod. Like they can get totally up to everything. Glad when this period goes off. Here's another one of her other outfits. It's cold and windy. But the snow is leaving off the ground. Does that mean it'll be spring soon? So, uh, let's see. It's a talent showcase tonight but we're going to end this episode right here and start off the next one right here tomorrow like her going to work and stuff so I'm going to pause here in this one thank you for watching make sure you like comment and subscribe at the bottom please leave me comments I read all of them and I answer them back, so do that. And continue watching Kira on her life's journey. Like, she hasn't started having kids yet, even though that's what she really wants in life. But she has to get to that point. She's not going to have kids out of wedlock and stuff. Or, like, trap Adrian, like some people do with celebrities. Try to trap them, get a baby so they can get that child support and stuff. She's not about that life. So... Hey, we just seeing what's going on with her. I'll be back next part with her going to work. So, and continue living her life. So, see y'all then. Peace.